Let us begin in a nice quiet seat of meditation. Let the legs be crossed and the eyes be closed, gazing deep in through our third eye, our most powerful vision, the seat of intuition. Let's take a moment to shake off the outside world and coming on the breath, big inhale fills up the lungs. Open mouth, exhale, squeezing out from the pelvic floor. Very nice. Let the shoulders tuck back and feel a nice long neck. Feel space across the collarbone. Do tuck back with the strength of the back muscles to pull the shoulder and rotate it out. Make space across that brachial plexus under the collarbone. It's big inhale. And as you exhale, squeeze out. Let go of anything not serving you. Anything energetic or physical, as the earth is the willing recycler, she's the willing composter of all of our energies. One more big breath here. Give it all back. Very good. On an inhale, sweeping the arms up and high overhead to reach up, interlace the fingers and take the steeple grip, push the Point your fingers up into the sky, but tuck the shoulder back into the socket. Try not to crowd the ears here. Tucking down, lifting from the pelvic floor, feel a nice long spine. And so tuck to the chin as the elbows move behind the ears. One more full breath, lengthen through the ribs. Pull the fists tight together. Inhale, reaches the hands further back. And then exhale, pranam, namaskar, to the heart center. This beautiful connection in pranam. Spread the fingers wide, connect the knuckle mounds, and push deeply. Feel the expansion through the wrists. Big inhale. And stay for the exhale. Inhale the arms out and wide to the sides and gather energy from the room. And as you exhale, wrap in. Take the right elbow in front of the left, cross up the forearms and work to connect the palms with the hands, the Gargadasana Eagle arms. 90 degree bend in the elbows. Work to get the palms together in alignment. If at first the hands are misaligned, that's fine. But over time, work to bring it in alignment and push the elbows out ahead of you, feel the space behind the heart, big breath. Almost like an ice cream headache for me behind the ears with this powerful expansion. And inhale the elbows up and high, gaze to the sky. And exhale, curl it down into a nice little ball and really tuck back the navel, ground down through the sit bone, tuck the chin to the chest. And let the head come down towards the earth. Let the elbows tuck all the way back to where the navel was. And just like we were talking about, really getting a hollow through that core. So you have control of the spine, control of the musculature. On an inhale, come back in through center and unwind, reaching the arms high overhead. And as you exhale, take the hands behind the back and just pull the fists together. Feel the prana manifest in the palms of the hand. If you like, just lean back enough to wedge the fist towards the earth. Open the heart and open the throat. Maybe take the head gently side to side. Expand the trachea. Stretch the flesh all the way under the chin. And on an inhale, grounding through the sit bones, sweeping the arms up and high overhead to reach up. And exhale again, pressing the hands together, pranam, namaskar. Take a breath here and expand through the wrist, through the forearm. Shoulders tuck back and down, and then inhale, point the fingers towards the earth. And as you exhale, pull the inner wrist up and towards the heart center. Feel this expansion move out into the elbow as the shoulders tuck back and press space across the chest plate. So tuck to the chin. Deep inner looking. On an inhale, take the arms out wide to the sides and gather energy from the room. 
then as you exhale, wrap in, take the left elbow in front of the right, cross the forearms and connect the palms, the Garudasana, and eagle arms, shoulders stuck down. 90 degree bend in the elbows, lifting from the pelvic floor, and allow the space to move behind the ears. Inhale, lifting up in high to gaze the sky, scooping from behind the heart, and exhale, curling down, tucking the navel back, shoulders back, chin to chest, scan the nape of the neck, and stay for the exhale. On inhale here, coming back up and through the center to reach the arms up and high overhead, circle up. And exhale, take the fingertips to the earth behind you, pointing away. Lift the hip and push the pelvic dish forward. Open the heart, open the throat. And stay for the exhale. On an inhale, let the hips sitting down back into the earth, bringing the hands up and high overhead to reach up. And exhale, bring pranam thumbs to the third eye. Set an intention for your practice, a powerful intention from a fearless heart, and allow yourself to feel this intention genuinely. Allow your feeling to guide your experience in this world. Big inhale. And bow forward, humble. Honor the practice. Thank yourself for showing up on the mat today. We invite the Ujjayi Pranayama in through the nose and out through the nose. Powerful lifting from the pelvic floor, the navel pulls back and deep. Pumping from the Uriyana Mula Bunda like the bellows, pumping, stoking the fire. Three more Pranayama Ujjayi breaths here with the third eye towards the earth as we prepare to enter the movements. Big inhales. Really squeezing out and focused in the intention. One thing that really separates this yoga practice from your typical other forms of workout is giving your intention, giving your devotion, and giving your breath in this beautiful eight limb practice of yoga. On an inhale, come up over the crossed ankles and let's find our neutral tabletop with the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees. And just begin with a gentle cat-cow as we do. Inhale, arch the spine, lubricate. And exhale, tuck the tail and round. Really get the sacrum open. Press through the hands, make space behind the heart. Ground down through palms, the pads, the fingers. As you exhale, tuck the navel back and deep and get so hollow through the core. Maybe add in a little forward or backward movement. Also, you want to take it a little side to side through the ribs. It feels so good in the body as it comes to life. One more big inhale, arching. And exhale, rounding. And then round yourself all the way back from cat to child. Push the hip back to the heel, untuck the toes. Maybe if you like, come up on the fingers half lifted. And let the heart sink it down and through. Take a breath here. Feel the space come through the low spine. And stay for the exhale. On an inhale, round yourself all the way back up through cat. Bend the elbows and slide through low onto the belly. And let's find the baby cobra airplane. Shoot the arms straight back with the heart lift. Press the toenails into the earth and then reach the hands together behind the back. See if you can pull those scapula back into the socket again. Active with the back muscles. One more inhale here. And exhale, bring the hands under the shoulders, elbows in tight under the lap muscle, lift through the navel up to the table. And exhale, push it back into the child pose. On an inhale, round yourself all the way back up to the cat. And let's come to the neutral table. Shake it out if you need to. Wag out the tail and find the long neck. Square it up when you're ready. Take the right arm up and high to the sky. Reach so high. And as you exhale, take the right hand around behind to bind it on the left thigh. 
gaze up over the right shoulder, big breath in. And as you exhale, roll to the knife edge of the right foot and kickstand with the left toes, gazing up, find this modified side plank with the vine. Press out of the karate kid knife edge of the back foot, try to stack the right hip. And then as you inhale, shift the weight forward, balancing. Allow the left hand to really grip, kicking back with the right leg. And then inhale, reach the right arm up and high overhead. And exhale, plug in the knee to the elbow. Nice. Reach back and grab the ankle, kick behind yourself, open the heart. Stay for the breath, open the throat. And hold. See if you can re-bend. Peace finger, grab those big toes, that big toe, and shoot it out to the side. Place it down even with the left knee, and find the modified gait. Keep the peace finger grip on the right toe. Take the left arm up and high. And as you exhale, take the left hand around behind the back. Release the bind on the right hand. Walk yourself up into the twist and propel it out over the left shoulder. Stay for the exhale, kicking through the knife edge of the right foot, active right quadricep. Twist all the way through the chin, and inhale, circle both arms back and high overhead, kickstand the right toes. And exhale, fold it down and deep. Honor the hip, flex the right quadricep. Put length into the hamstring with control. Nice, shoulders tucked back. Inhale, round yourself back up, shoulders over wrists. And exhale, plug in, knee to elbow. Inhale, kick the right leg back, bend the knee, open the heart. And exhale, plug in, knee to nose. And set the right foot down between the hands. Coming up on the left toes, inhale, maybe even start to straighten the right leg. And as you exhale, step the left foot up to meet the right. Nice halfway lift, take the hands to the shins for the first one. And exhale, grab the back of the calf and take three breaths. Powerful, pull the navel back in deep, make a nice hinge at the waist. Let the torso come down towards the quadriceps and lengthen that spine. As you were mentioning earlier, Ms. Erica, putting length into the spine is critical. Gravity is constantly compressing us, so letting ourselves take back a few centimeters here and there is powerful. Another big breath, and stay for the exhale. And then when you're ready, micro bend the knees if you need to, burst all the way up and high, or Vasasana, hands reach up overhead. As you exhale, take the right hand forward, down, and back to twist, gazing out over the right shoulder. Steer the hip to the top of the mat. Take another big inhale. And exhale, surrender back. And take the right hand, push the pelvic dish forward. And hold, beautiful. With the strength now from the core, inhale, sweep the arms up and high, grip with the toes. And exhale, take the left hand forward, down and back to twist. Right hand extends forward, hip parallel to the top of the mat. And gazing out over the back shoulder, use the strength from the feet. Big inhale. And exhale, surrender back powerfully as you press. The left hand pushes the sacrum forward, maybe even find a little adjustment. Keep the strength from the feet. And then as you inhale, circle both arms back up and high overhead. And hinge at the waist and fold to the earth. Very good. Take a full breath at the bottom in Uttanasana. Big inhale. And really relax the head and the neck as you surrender down. So nice. Fingertips down to the earth. Shoot the right leg back and just feel square Vekasana. Exhale, bend the left knee. Plug the right knee to the back of the left calf. Inhale, right leg back, Vekasana. Exhale, plug in, right knee, right shoulder. Inhale, right leg back, take asana. And exhale, set the right foot down to the mat. Drop the right knee, circle the arms up and high overhead. Untuck the right toes, find this low lunging. Big breath. And sink deep through the right hip flex. Shoulders roll back. Powerful. One more breath here. And sink it deeper. As you 
inhale, reach further back. And exhale, take the hands down into the earth. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Arahanamasana. Pull the left toes back towards the shin. And as you exhale, keep plugging back that corner of the left hip deep into the socket. Keep pulling the toes back. Square the hips so much. And iron flat to three inches below the navel center. One more breath here. And flex the quadricep, kneecap lift, build length for the hamstring safely. Inhale, re-bend, and come up on the right toes, hands down. And exhale, set the left foot back into a nice plank. Square up your plank and don't sag into the bridges. Keep the hip up and high. Inhale, shift the weight up over the wrists. And exhale, humble chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, elbows in tight. Slide through low, baby cobra. Let the elbows stay bent as much as you need to. Of course, if you're ready to keep pressing straight, go ahead. Take the tops of the feet and pull back towards the shin. Allow yourself to almost slide back as you press forward with the hands. Feel the Nike swoosh in the middle spine. And use the lat muscle to roll the shoulder out and open. Again, making space across the brachial plexus, under the collarbone, and across the chest plate. One more big inhale, so tuck to the chin, relax the glutes. Feel the back of the neck expand. And as you inhale, belly button up to your table. And exhale, push it back into the child pose. Very nice. And inhale, round yourself all the way back up through cat and come to the neutral table. Shake it out if you need to. Whack out the tail. Feel so good in the body. Feel alive. Feel so stoked on the yoga practice because you know it is the key to the human being. Inhale, the left arm up and high. And exhale, take the left hand around behind the back to bind it on that right thigh. Big inhale, gazing up and over the left shoulder for the twisting. Feel that core, make space with length. One more big inhale. And exhale, roll it to the outer edge of the left foot. Feel the karate kid knife edge of the left foot and also kickstand with the right foot. Press strong through the back leg and feel the stacking of the hip, full breath. The modified side plank and the pinky toe connects the right hand. Grip strong with the right hand. Inhale, shift the weight forward and float the left foot like the karate kid. Kicking that, powerful with the twist. Inhale, left arm comes up and high overhead. And exhale, plug in, knee to elbow. Control it, nice. Reach back with the left hand, grab the ankle, kick behind yourself. Expand with the leg strength out of the shoulder. One more breath here. And hold, now re-bend. Take the these fingers to the left big toe and just extend the left leg out to the side. Place it down even with the right knee. Keep the grip on the peace finger big toe connection and twist right arm up and high. Power. Press down through the knife edge of the foot. One more big inhale, lengthens. And exhale, take the right hand around behind the back. Begin to walk the left arm up the left thigh. And use it to press yourself out over the right shoulder in the twist. Connect the knife edge of the foot. Feel the length in the hip and the hamstring. Open across the psoas. Nice one more breath, twisting out through the chin. And lifting the pelvic floor. Inhale, circle both arms back up and high overhead. Kicks down the left toes. And exhale, fold it down and deep. Onto the hip, flex the left quadricep. And sink it deep into the hip flexor. Super good. One more big breath at the bottom. Lift the kneecap and safely expand. On an inhale, beautiful breathing. Rise up, shoulders over wrists. And exhale, plug in knee to shoulder. Inhale, kick the left leg back, bend the knee, open the heart. And exhale, plug in knee to nose. And set the left foot down between the hands. Rise up on the right foot, maybe even straighten the left leg a bit if you'd like. And exhale, step the right foot up to meet the left. Heel toe the feet together to touch. Nice halfway lift. Maybe the hands begin to work the earth. And as you exhale, fall down and deep. Feel the Uttanasana for three breaths. 
if you'd like, come up onto the toes and tuck the hands under the heels. Really press in with the 10 toes. Tuck the shoulders back in the socket. Make length through the middle spine. Use the lap muscles to pull the scapula back as gravity takes the head deeper towards the earth. Another big breath here. Pressing in all 10 toes nice and even. Good. And then when you're ready, release the hands, micro bend the knees if you need to, burst all the way up and high, or Vahasthasana, hands reaching up overhead. Interlace, take the good morning stretch, push the palms to the sky, and as you exhale, take it out to the left side, gazing up and under the right armpit. Hold for the breath, press through the right leg, big inhale, and then gaze down on the left side. Let yourself hip circle down, really expanding through the ribs and everything. Maybe the hands graze the earth and coming all the way up the right side, powerful through the feet, and pressing the top arm deep over the top of your using that good morning stretch to pull length and gazing up. Ground through the left side foot. One more big inhale and hold. Inhale, come back to center, reach up and high overhead. And exhale, cactus. As much back bending as feels groovy. If you'd like, take the hands to the hip and push forward. Maybe walk the hands down behind the calf, behind the thigh. Press the heart to the sky, open the throat. Keep the length in the spine. And then inhale, pull up from the toes through the tummy. And elbows come high overhead. Open the eyes if you're going to fall over. And exhale, fold to the earth. Very good. Big half lift. And exhale, expand the fold. Big breath in. And big breath out. When you're ready, Fingertips down, inhale, left leg straight back through Dekasana, feel square. And then bend the right knee, plant the left knee on the back of the right calf, Jiva. Inhale, left leg back, straight. Exhale, plug in, left knee, left shoulder, left elbow. Inhale, left leg back and straight. And exhale, set the left foot down, let the left knee come to the earth, and then find the low lunge. Beautiful, sweeping the arms up and high. Maybe untuck the back toes, squeeze the quadriceps towards each other, and let the shoulders tuck back and down. Big breath in, and expand through the psoas. Beautiful, another breath there. Sink deeper. Inhale, reach further back. And exhale, take the hands down to the mat. Inhale, take the right leg and pull back. Pull the right hip deep back into the socket. Pull the right toes back towards the shin. And let yourself fold. Beautiful breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose. Flex the quadriceps, stay active for the hamstring. One more breath here. And hold. Nice. On an inhale, rebend, coming up onto the left toes, hands down. And exhale, set that right foot back into plank. Nice strong plank. Don't sag the hip, shoulders over wrist, big inhale. And exhale, elbows in tight, low chaturanga down. Push to the tops of the feet, roll the shoulders back, up dog or cobra if you prefer it. And hold for a breath. Feel this powerful as the quadriceps stay floating. Press through the hands. Big inhale. Shoulders tucked back with the lat muscle. Now belly button first, up through table, up through plank. And back to dog. Beautiful. Push it into your dog. First down doggy of the dance. And let's twist it out together, ground through both feet, big breath. And then bend the left knee, come up on the left toes, keep the right foot connected and twist all the way through the side body, extend the ribs. And hold, gorgeous. Inhale, come back to center. 
Exhale, push back and deep. Big inhale. And exhale, keep planting the left foot. Bend the right knee, come up on the toes and twist under the left side body. Expand, feel each rib having space between it. Align, manage the vertebra. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, press it back and settle into your dog here. Allow yourself to feel so good in the body. And we'll find our yoga home base, our creative vinyasa flow. You can always find your way back to downward facing dog and find these beautiful corrections in the posture. So feel the deep internal rotation up and through the quadriceps. Press the hip back and high, strong hands grounding, gripping the earth and gazing back. One day the crown comes all the way down and the gaze comes all the way to the belly of the tongue. One more big breath here. Roll the shoulder out so much. Nice. And hold. Very good. On an inhale now, let's take the right leg up and open the hip. Find a big long line of freedom. Powerful. Let everything peel away. And as you gaze through under the side body, push strong through a straight shoulder and expand from the fingers all the way through the toes. One more big breath here. And hold. Or just inhale, kick that right leg back and square it up. Exhale, take the right knee cross body to the left elbow. Make the connection. Let's fly. EPK2. Or just hold knee to elbow. Beautiful breath. And then we'll come down and we'll shoot the right leg out to the side. Fallen triangle. Shoot the right foot forward. Power off the back foot. And lift. Hold. Maybe even take the left hand around behind the back. And Press the sacrum to the sky. Press out of the back foot. And really feel the expansion. One more breath here. Stay for the exhale. And then as you inhale, circle the left arm back and high overhead. Come up on the left toes. Keep the right leg out to the side. Take the left hand to the earth and gaze over the right shoulder. Find this IT band, cross leg split. And hold. Very good. One more breath here. Stay for the exhale. And then power off the back foot. Inhale, right leg up, three dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Touch, hold, fly, if you like, EPK1. Stay for the breath. And then we'll come down with the wide leg cobra split. Maybe you see where we're going with this. Full breath here. Allow yourself to sink. Let the heart shine. Kicks down the right toes. And make space through the left hip flexor. One more big breath, shoulders tucked back. And stay for the exhale. Now power up the left foot. Inhale, take the right leg up. Bend the knee, flip the dog. Set the right foot behind the body. Maybe the right foot even close to the Head, so you're gonna reach back the right hand to the right shin and hold. Press out of the left arm so strong. Expand the trachea. One more big inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, right arm reaches overhead and exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, right leg up in three dog. And exhale, right knee to nose. Set the right foot down between the hands and rise up a high lunge. Powerful, sweeping the arms up and overhead. Squeeze the quadriceps towards each other. Big inhale here. And maybe sink it in. Lift the heart higher. And then as you exhale, reach forward and come all the way up, warrior three airplane. And then as you exhale, take it into your standing splits. Let the left hand come up to the side as an outrigger. Maybe take the right hand to the back of the right calf. 
See if the gaze can come all the way up and under. Look all the way up the left leg to the sky. And bring the chest down to the right thigh. Big breath here. And stay for the exhale. When you're ready, bend both knees. Inhale, come through center and rise up. Ekapadatarasana. Very good. Take the right hand to the left foot. Outside edge, extend the left foot forward, left hand, left hip. And if you'd like, extend the left arm back. Maybe gaze back and twist. Beautiful breath. And hold. Really good. With control, come back to center. Rebend. Switch the grip to the left hand. Left foot. Find Nadarajasana. Dancer pose. Big breath here. Steady focused. Nice. Inhale, come back through center. Ekapada. And fly back through Warrior Three airplane. Take the right hand to the earth. Bend the left knee and let the left hand find the left foot. Chapasana. Maybe take the gaze down. Maybe kick the left leg high. And when you're ready, come back through Dekasana and set that left foot down right into splits. Beautiful. Take the right foot straight forward. Untuck the back toes. And settle in. If the hip easily comes down to the earth, maybe reach the arms up and high. Otherwise, use the hands for support. And if you'd like, also the availability to bow. Big breaths. And stay. Expand. Flex the right quadricep. And when you're ready, retuck the back toes. Come up, right knee to nose. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, right leg up, three dog. And exhale, shift your weight through plank. To Chaturanga. Beautiful. Up dog or cobra if you prefer it. And exhale, back to the down dog. Wedge the hip back and square. Roll the shoulders out. Feel the deep internal rotation. Maybe even take it just a little wider and feel how you can create this key all the way up into the pelvic dish and flattening the sacrum back. Stay for the exhale, grounding through the feet. One more breath here. And hold. Very good. On an inhale, let's take the left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Big long line of freedom, powerful. Let everything peel away, gorgeous. Big breath, expand through the psoas. Feel a long line through a strong straight arm. Out and through the shoulder. Big breath in. Power the standing leg. One more here. And hold. Nice. Inhale, kick the left leg back. Square, so strong. Exhale, knee cross body, right elbow, EPK2, fly the scissors. Beautiful breath. Settle in and hold. Nice. Right foot down, inhale, left leg up. Flip that dog. Take the left foot behind the body. Big breath. High five. And maybe take the hand to the shin. Beautiful. Inhale, take the left arm back and high. Exhale, the left hand to the earth. Inhale, the left leg up, three. And exhale, left foot, left knee, left elbow, extend it through, fallen triangle. Back foot down on the 90, heart to the sky. And push the hip up and high, perhaps taking the hand behind the low spine. And hold. Power out of the back foot, expand the trachea. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, circle the right arm up and overhead. Come up on 
the right toes, dip the hip, gaze the left shoulder, and IT release, cross leg split, three breaths. Toes. Inhale the left leg up for three dog. Exhale left knee, left elbow. Fly. Hurdle pose. EPK one. Big breath. And hold. Very good. Set it down into the wide legs. Cobra splits. And tuck the shoulders back. Powerful. So tuck to the chin. Expand through the right hip flex. One more big inhale. Stay for the exhale. Reduct the right toes. Inhale, left leg up, three dog. And exhale, left knee to nose. Set the left foot down between the hands. Rise up a high lunge. And powerful. Squeeze the quadriceps towards each other. Let the shoulders tuck back and down. Big inhale, press out of the back foot. And as you exhale, float forward, warrior three airplane. Big inhale. And exhale, standing splits. Maybe both hands to the earth. Maybe the right hand out to the side. The left hand grabs the back of the left calf. Press the right toes to the sky. Big inhale, big exhale, gazing up and under the body. And then when you're ready, regain the control, bend both knees, rise up like a pada tadasana, steady focus the drishti, one non-moving spot on the earth, left hand to the knife edge of the right foot, right hand, right hip if that feels good for stability, extend out as much as feels good. Maybe take the right arm back to twist. Maybe begin to shift the gaze back. Find the breath. And with control, when you're ready, come back to center. Rebend and switch the grip. Find your Nataraj. Dancer pose. Beautiful. Nice and slow, steady focused. And when you're ready, come back to the Akapada. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, fly back through three, airplane. And take the left hand to the earth. Take the right arm up and high. Bend the left right knee, chop off. Beautiful breath. Kicking open. Powering. Maybe we can gaze down. And then when you're ready, come back for J Kasana. Square up. Both hands down for control. And set the right foot back and take it all the way into splits. is different. Take your time here. And once you make it down to the earth, if it feels okay, you got a nice control. Maybe take the arms up and high, back leg strong and straight. Flexing the left quadricep. Big inhale. And if you like to fold, option. Beautiful breath. Tuck the right knee to the back of the left calf. 
Beautiful. Put the shoulders back. Inhale, right leg up, three dog straight leg. And exhale, right foot to the earth. Take the left leg up, three dog. And exhale, bend the right knee, plug the left knee to the back of the right calf. Squat the hip low. Make the connection, roll the shoulders out, press it back. And hold. Big inhale. Exhale, press back to three dog. Really flex the right standing leg. And exhale, take the left foot to the earth. Big breath here, and stay for the exhale. Shift the weight up into plank, and hold Vashisthasana. Big inhale, and exhale. Take the toes to the right, and the heels to the left. Maybe find your Adahasta. Find, find the control. Keep the gaze focused down to the left hand until the balance is achieved. And then maybe take the gaze to the sky. When you're ready, come back through your plank with control. And exhale, toes left, heels right. And finding your variations, maybe the Padahasta or any other Vashi variations, one of the more challenging postures in the business, and hold, very good, inhale, come back from plank, and big inhale, shift the weight up over the wrists, exhale, low chaturanga down, inhale, push to the tops of the feet, roll the shoulders back up dog, and exhale, back to your down dog, take a big breath in dog, Push the hip back and square. Take the right leg up, three dog. Take the right knee, right elbow. Set the right foot down on the outside of the right hand. Take the right hand on the inside of the right leg. Plant it to the earth. Pivot to the knife edge of the left foot. And maybe just see if the left hand can pick the right foot up off the ground. If that feels okay, maybe extend out and find your beads of each asana. So maybe begin just by feeling the side plank strength. Take the left hand and grab that foot. And powerful extension. Challenging pose. <laughs> nice job. When you're ready, come back to the lizard and drop it humble. Let yourself take it down. Slowly. Really good. One more side. Come up on the back toes. Take the right leg up. Three dog. Maybe pivot that. Right knee off the elbow as you inhale up. And exhale. Shift the weight forward through plank. Your chaturanga. Inhale up dog with cobra. And exhale back to the down dog. Take a big breath in dog. Push the hip back and square. Inhale, left leg up in three. And exhale, left knee, left elbow. Wrap that left arm on the inside of the left leg with the outside of the foot. Take the right foot down on 90. Now, strength is in the left hand. See if the right hand can just pick up the left foot. Maybe begin to extend out and find your Visva Mitra. Beautiful breath and hold. When you're ready, gently come back to lizard and drop it in. Beautiful. Three breaths. Out. Back into the Manduka. 
Let the knees come out wide. Feeling so good here. Allow yourself to separate the low back out from the hip. Make space. A few more breaths. Allowing everything to really relax. And the feet just a bit wider than the knees if possible. I'm pressing back. Fingertips to the earth, pop up into this crosserita A. Take a half lift here. Big breath, get the weight up in the toes. And exhale, walk yourself back and through. Take the crown of the head to the earth. Now, maybe fingertips, arms out long, or maybe tops of the hands even to the ground with the Yana Mudra from Judge Pointer. And see if you can come up tripod with the wide legs and the arms out, and the palms face the sky for the receiving of energy. Or maybe palms to the earth, for the grounding and the return. Beautiful. Take your time. See if you can come down and put the feet right into the hands. A little padasana in the prasarita A. See if you can get the toes right into the wrists. And then release the hands. Take the right hand fingertips right down the center. Take the left arm out to the side. Take the right knee onto the right elbow. Kick the left leg out to the side. Variation. Beautiful breath. And when you're ready, come back to the wide legs. Take the left hand in the middle, fingertips. Take the right hand out to the side. Take the left knee on the left elbow. And shoot the right leg out to the side. Beautiful. to the glute. When you're ready, come back wide legs. Nice halfway lifted. Take the hands behind the back. Find prostate to be. Tuck the chin to the chest. And maybe the hands come all the way up and over the top to find the earth. Power from the knife edge of their feet. Round the hip out, rotate the head of the femur all the way into the pelvic there, wedging the hip up and high, tuck the flat three inches below the navel center, and then when you're ready, bring the hands back out in front of you, heel toe the feet together to touch, beautiful, sit the hip low and lift the heart high, chair pose, Utkatasana. Beautiful breath here. Connect the earth. And then when you're ready, take the hands down. Keep that pulling tight together through the navel center, Bhattasana Pro. Shift the weight up over the wrist. Lift up one foot, maybe lift two. Give the balance into the fingers. Three breaths and let me float. Big inhale. Maybe straighten the arms on the last breath, inhale. And exhale, step or float. Your chaturanga, up dog or cobra. And back to the downward facing. Big breath in dog. Drop it to the knees, child pose. Come back to the breath, you can reach the arms out long in front. Come back to the intention. Deep in looking, the self-study, the 
meditative way of being. And with each Mayarasana, first take dolphin. Elbows in tight. Feel free to use the wall here. Wedging back. Dolphin dog, elbows down. Trying to ground the feet as well as pressing the hip high like down dog. And feeling a powerful shoulder expansion. Try to get a straight line between the hip, the shoulder, and the elbow. Keep the engagement in the entire body, legs, so as gaze forward, take your favorite leg up. Find your tension. Right off. Forearm balance. Feather peacock pose. Maybe find your variations. And hold. Beautiful. Nice work, everyone. Yes, Eric. Beautiful, Bianca. Nice, Eric. When you're ready, bring it back to the earth. Reach back, find a rabbit, grasp the little pose, maybe fly the heels or maybe press the toes down, maybe length. Very good. When you're ready, hands down. Take your hands down to the earth, find down dog, quest for the jump to crow. Now if you're working other handstands, feel free. Take the wall, maybe kick up from the dog. Any variations are nice. Yeah, looks so good. Keep the strength all the way through the psoas. Pull back the navel to the spine. Gaze forward, bend the knees a lot. That's awesome. 
feels really good. Doesn't it feel great? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's find the opposite side. Take the right hip onto the bar and take the left foot up onto the beam. Go ahead and turn yourself to twist. Yeah, stack it right in there, don't be shy. And maybe even using the railing to pull yourself around, gazing over the back shoulder, lifting the pelvic floor, big reps. Shoulders tuck back. back through the center, pivot out so that the right foot is parallel, reach out, or perpendicular I should say, to the bar, reach out with the left hand, grab the piece fingers to the big toes, reach your right arm up and high, and extend over the top, maybe you've got the bind on the foot, maybe you've got the bird of paradise bind here, seeing if the left hand can make its way to connect the right wrist. Powerful with the support from the bar. And of course, if you don't have a yoga bar at home, you can always use your countertop or a chair. Beautiful. Very nice. And when you're ready, come back in, reach up and high, and pivot for the straight. Forward fold. Or the Paschimottanasana, standing on one foot. Stay active in the left quadricep. Make length in the hamstring. Really focus the digging in. Using the support of the bar to focus in the nuances to square the hip back. Let the chest come deep and down, flexing the quadricep. And hold. When you're ready, gently release out and go ahead and take the right hip, right hand, right elbow down on the bar. Take the left hand to grab the left shin or even towards the knee and allow yourself the Dandyamana, Dandyarasana, Dandyarasana, Dandyamana, Dandyamasana. Powerful, straightening that top leg so much. Beautiful breaths. The more the grip comes down by the knee, potentially more straightness will happen. Mmm, <laughs> feels so good. And when you're ready, gently release out. Ooh, man, so great. Let's come back to the mat. Top of the mat, we'll find this final sequence to the earth here. Give yourself space to roll back into your Beautiful breath, floating on the sit bone, cross at the ankles and bow the third eye to touch. You. And then when you're ready, grab the outer edges of the feet, keep the legs straight together. See if you can begin to straighten the legs up. Maybe bow head to knee or stay with the straight spine. Beautiful breath. When you're ready, bend the knees and take it all the way to Blissful Baby, Ananda Balakasana. Let the low spine iron down flat on the mat. Maybe pull the knees into the side body. Iron the sacrum down, maybe legs out wide in the splits. And final back bend. Take the feet down to the earth, wedge the hip up and high. Find the support for the bridge by walking the elbows underneath. Beautiful. Press the chest towards the chin. Deep connection here. And if you'd like, stay with the bridge or move deeper, taking the elbows to point straight overhead. Hands back towards you, rise up. Or the Dhanurasana. Final back bend. Upward facing bow. Three breaths. When you're ready, let's take it back to the earth. Nice and gentle. And bring the knees into the chest. 
Give yourself a nice squeeze here. And then press the legs out wide with the splits. Big inhale. And exhale, wrap right knee on top of left. Eagle, eagle twist left with the right knee on top, gazing over the right shoulder. Shoulders flat down. Nice center of axis as you twist. Breathe life into this body. 
you've made it. One of the greatest accomplishments in the known universe. Know your value. Know your worth. Know you are absolutely a gift here on this earth. And in a continuous state of perfection, that's right, you're also perfect. In each moment, you're exactly where you're meant to be. And it's only in the dreams and the memories that there's any fault. Because right now, you've made it. There's no more prerequisite. Nothing else to do in the moment you're here. So feel that perfection. Feel that gift that is you. And when you're ready, bring the movements back in through the small joints of the fingers and the toes. Allow yourself to be drawn to either side of the body into the fetal position. Have a breath. Allow the blood to flow and move. Detoxify. Nourish and refresh. And then when you're ready, we'll find our way back to a quiet seat of meditation and we'll close our session with the chanting of Om, the three Oms together as mantra, as medicine, and as a simple experience to share the vibration of the universe. Bring the hands in together at the heart, one full breath to prepare ourselves. Big inhale now. Open now. peace among all beings of the universe. May there be peace. May there be peace. Let us repeat together. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. All together. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bow forward. 